our call is fundamentally to be men of prayer and to belong to Jesus, to be consecrated to him uh, in the life and example and witness of St. Francis, to be a source of renewal in the church and in the world today. In terms of our apostolic life, the pillars are service of the materially poor, responding to and living the new evangelization, and protecting and promoting the dignity of human life. Living together as brothers in fraternity, we never do anything alone. I mean, we have time alone when I'm in the workshop here and doing things like that, but it's never usually for myself. You know, it's like we pray together, we live together, we work together, and we hold each other accountable. And that's a grace of Franciscan life having brothers, walking together as brothers, struggling as brothers loving each other as brothers, praying as brothers, and serving the poor as brothers. And beautifully, as I go through this, there's a, a greater outpouring of grace to just desire Him more. So we pray a lot, but there's a desire to pray more. There's a lot of silence, but there's a desire for more silence. There's a lot of time with the poor and the outcast, but there's a desire for more of that. Because when we encounter the poor, we encounter reality. We encounter authentic life, authentic suffering. Um, and, and so then we're able to experience God there and then we're able to, to allow that real experience we have of the Lord and the poor to, to inform and inspire uh, the Word of God that we preach. St. Francis wrote the canticle of Brother Sun and Sister Moon at the end of his life as he had the stigmata, as his eyes were going blind and any light from the sun would cause extreme pain. And he's praising God for Brother Sun and Sister Moon. And it's out of this place of living on the cross that he comes to find joy because he starts to see things not as he sees them, but as God sees them. And so living a communal life like St. Francis following in his footsteps. I'm giving up my own will, handing it to God the Father, and through him, through my superiors, my legitimate superiors in the order, they're ordering everything according to his will. And out of that, I realize his will for me is good. Everything that he is doing for me right here is so, so good. I think many, many of friars, they're here because the first excitement with Franciscan life was through fraternity. When you see the brothers together, it's a very eloquent sign of consecration. Because you receive your brothers as gifts from the Lord. Francis said this in the Testament, and the Lord gave me brothers. So it's not that Francis decided to found a community. The Lord sent people. even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. In our constitutions, it says that prayer is to be the very heart of our way of life. You know, and so it's a beautiful line that's right there, and um, we have very practical ways that we live that out.
before we can even give of ourselves anywhere else. I need to be sustained in prayer with the Lord and I need to be rooted in community with my brothers who can keep me in reality and help me to learn to be myself so that when we are with the poor, when we are with ministering with anybody anywhere, we are able to give out of this place that's not coming from me and what I want to do and how I'm going to do good for the world, but it's coming from the source. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear him, bless the Lord. The deepest truth of myself is that I'm empty without him. So if I can't accept my poverty, then I can't actually be fulfilled. Because until I acknowledge my need, I can't ask the Lord to come into that place. And that was one of the greatest graces I had received just walking and being accompanied by the friars is they weren't afraid to accept that they're weak, they're poor, that they're little too, and that I can, I can accept myself there. And then God can be God. It's been a real gift of the life, but it's certainly been difficult um, just seeing how we live really for today, or for what the Lord is doing today, like in this moment, in this hour. I, I think what makes the community attractive and, and, and viable and fruitful is not terribly complicated. I think that we take our Catholic faith seriously, and we're simply faithful Catholics.